Hi everybody, it's me, Sissy. Happy New Year! I hope everybody had a great Christmas, a wonderful holiday, or whatever season you were celebrating. I hope you um, got to spend it with your family and your friends. Um, it's a new year, so let's get started right. And I'm going to jump right in and start with Valentine's. I know it's only uh, over a month away, but I procrastinated and half my Christmas stuff didn't get done. So we're going to start with Valentine's, and I'm going to try to stay ahead of schedule. So, um, I hope everybody got uh, everything they wanted for Christmas. I was so excited. I actually got a new Cricut and an Easy Press, so I may be doing some videos on that. Uh, I, I really love it so far. But anyway, let's get into this um, Valentine's DIY. Dollar Tree already has out their Valentine's things. Um, some of this is from last year. Some of this is new. Um, only one or two things are not from... Dollar Tree. I uh, have this um, white ribbon, which they do have some white ribbon at Dollar Tree that you can get, but this was the um, after Christmas clearance at Michael's uh, 75 or 80% off, and so I went ahead and got that. But we're going to do a heart shaped wreath, and um, as you know, you can get the little wire heart shaped wreaths already heart shaped obviously from Dollar Tree but this is a little small so I wanted something larger and I happen to have two of the candy cane ring wreaths left so all I did was um, join them at the top and at the bottom and it makes a big heart now one the one of them is turned backwards but that's not going to matter with the way we're going to do this wreath but we're going to do the large one and put the small one aside and then I have some different things um, that we may use for decorations on the wreath. I'm not quite sure yet how it's going to turn out or what it's going to look like. But I got these little hanging hearts. And I bought this one just for the one that says welcome on it. And then there's a cute little one that says be mine. And um, the others have pretty little designs. And we may use one. We may use all. We may use none. I'm not sure yet. But I have two strings of that. And... Then I just have some um, mesh, I've got the pink, some red, um, white, and then the uh, red and white. And I have an assortment of ribbons. I have, at, you know, I save my scraps, so I have all my little scrap pieces of ribbon. And I have some pink and some of the printed. They have such pretty ribbons at Dollar Tree for um, Valentine's Day. So I have an assortment of those. The, little skinny ones and then I have some larger ones um, and I have some um, tie, um, pipe cleaners and I went ahead and cut these in half <clears throat> and I'm going to do this um, like I do some wreaths in the past where I make the bundles and then we're going to just put the bundles on here so and I counted the sections so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. So I'm probably going to make like 13 bundles and see if that fills it up. If not, I'll add some more. But uh, let me go get my Bodabra. Okay, so I have my Bodabra and I'm, I'm not affiliated with Bodabra. I don't get anything for um, advertising this, but I think it's great and it really helps me making my wreaths when I use the bundles because I have the arthritis in my thumbs and it's hard for me to hold it and and uh, wrap a pipe cleaner around it but <clears throat> what we're going to do I'm going to use up my um, scrap ribbon first and then we'll go to the ones on the roll but um, our deco mesh is six inches long and um, they're going to be the center of our bundle so we're going to cut our ribbon about seven inches and then I like to dovetail the ends so um, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut all my ribbon
got a pile of my mesh and I got some ribbon cut and I have my pipe cleaners cut so um, we're going to start making our bundles. We're going to start with the mesh. Start with the pink. We're just going to roll it, squeeze it, shove it on. Roll it, squeeze it, shove it on. And see how that, that Bodabra just holds that for you. Then we're gonna put a pink ribbon. Now you wanna um, put all your ribbon printed side up, and if you wanna dovetail your ends, I'd go ahead and do that now. So you just wanna squeeze it and put it in. I'm gonna do two ribbons. I've got a, a pink one, and I'm gonna do a Clear one. I'm going to alternate the um, the pink and the white and the um, printed red and the solid red, I guess. So, four mesh, two of the larger ribbons. Let's do three. ribbons and then we want to do two of our little skinny ribbons so I'm going to do the white with the hearts and the pink with the hearts so, and you can take your little slider and squish it down and then all you got to do is Grab it, hold it, pull it up, put your pipe cleaner on it, give it a good twist, and then you can kind of spread out your different pieces. Okay, and there you have your uh, first bundle, and I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, 14 of these and then we'll put them on a wreath and see if we need to make any more. Okay, when you get all your little bundles made, all you you got them twisted on your twist tie, you want to just want to take them and kind of fluff them up and uh, twist the tails around and straighten the ribbons. See if you um, have any ribbons that are too long. If you want to trim them, just kind of open them out so they look like a flower shape. Okay, so we've got all those done. Now I'm going to get my wreath for them. And when you use the two candy canes, you're going to have one side that's bowed out and one that goes in. But it shouldn't make a difference when we put our bundles on because they're they're pretty fluffy. So it, sh it really shouldn't make a big difference. To attach them, all we're going to do is take the little twist tie pipe cleaner that we had that we um, secured the bundle with and we're just going to Put it around the form and give it a twist. You can just put it through, flip it over, and twist it. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and twist all these on here and uh, see how it looks, see what we need to add, and then I'll let you see what we got. Okay, so I've got all my bundles attached, and this is how it's looking. Um, now i got to decide if I'm going to add these extra little hearts I have. Um, 
I like it. It could be a little fuller. It could be a few more bundles on here, but I think if I add the hearts, and that'll fill up some of the space, and it won't look skimpy. But uh, let me get those and put them on here, and we'll see what they look like. Okay, so I decided that it looked kind of bare and I wanted to add some glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these little um, hearts. I cut them apart off the string, the welcome string from um, Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put a big glob of glue on the back and then press them down and uh, let them dry. And when they all get dry, I'll come back and I'll Okay, show you so what this is my finished um, wreath. I think it turned out pretty good. The little hearts added a little pop of glitter and it kind of dressed it up a little bit. So I'm going to hang it outside. Usually I don't decorate for Valentine's Day. It's not my favorite holiday to say the least. But anyway, y'all have a great New Year's. Get out there and start crafting. I'm going to try to do some more crafts. I hope to be right back with the craft showing how I use the little heart wreath from Dollar Tree. I'm going to try to do it kind of farmhouse so it could be left up all the time not just for Valentine's Day but y'all remember if Sissy can do it y'all can do it too and let me know in the comments if you would like to see some of my Cricut crafts I use my Cricut to make my Sissy can do it YouTube shirt so um, I have monogrammed everything I can get my hands on in my house I'm running out of stuff so y'all give me some ideas anyway y'all have a great day thanks bye